Hello, fellow Daz Studio enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to another little Daz Studio tutorial. Now, today I'm pretty excited because I have just received my update to the RAM in my computer, and I want to install the RAM and uh, then do a little test to see how this additional RAM is going to upgrade my computer. Now, currently, my computer has 32 gigs of RAM, and I have purchased an additional 32 gigs. So when I install it, it's going to have 64 total gigabytes of RAM. Now, if uh, you're not really computer savvy, uh, which I am not as well, uh, RAM stands for random access memory. So basically you can think of RAM as being your computer's short term memory. And so what I have read about RAM regarding Dev Studio is that RAM will speed up how you can navigate around Daz Studio. It may speed up loading times. It may help you start up Daz Studio, you know, those kind of things. So what I'm going to do is uh, put my new RAM in and then we're going to see how that affects my computer. All right, let's get going. Okay, so here is my system. I use two screens. You can see up here. Right now, this screen, my second screen, is where I have my OBS, how I record my videos. And the um, first screen is going to have Daz Studio. I also have speakers, of course, and then you can see my... Um, microphone that I use to make my videos. The computer is down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this computer apart and we're going to add the brand new RAM cards. All right, let's get started. Okay, here's my system. I just have to open it up. How I open it is by pushing this button and then it just allows this glass piece to come out. I've never opened this before, so it should be kind of interesting to see what it does. Let's let's uh, check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, push it, and then this is supposed to just open. And it does. Okay, so these are my two sticks of RAM that I already have. So both are 16 gigs, so I have 32 total. So I'm gonna take the uh, new ones, get them out of their package. We're gonna put them in. What I've read that you have to do is you have to flick or flip these little dials back and they are moving really easily. So I've moved my little dials. Now let's get the new ones in. Okay, so here's the first one. We wanna make sure that it lines up properly. And uh, what I was told to do is you just put it in And then on each end, just take it, push it until it clicks. When it goes in, those side pieces will just snap shut. So that worked really well. Gotta tell you, I'm always a little nervous getting into the computer. I use this every day. It's my second job. And uh, playing with it like this makes me nervous. Now I've got my four sticks of RAM in. We just gotta put this thing back together. Let's fire it up, go back to our scene. Let's see what happens. 
sorry this uh not a very good video uh for installation i'm not uh, trying to show you how to do this i just wanted to document that i did it so if you are looking how to put ram into a computer <laughs> this is not the video for you but um you know, obviously there's some better videos out on YouTube that you can look at, but let's get this back together and we'll see what we can uh, do back in DAS Studio. Okay, now I've updated the RAM and uh, always a little nervous about putting that computer back together, but I've got to say, this is a pretty simple scene with uh, Milica, but I am definitely able to navigate around our DAS studio fairly quickly and I'm kind of anxious to see uh, load times and that kind of thing but right now I have to say I am pretty impressed with the uh, the movements in DAS studio so I'd love to hear your comments on what you think extra RAM is going to do for the computer. I um, haven't had a whole lot of time to play around with it, so uh, as I kind of work through and build scenes and that kind of thing, it'll be interesting to see if I notice any big differences. But until then, we'll just have to wait and see. But, you know, this was a short little video. Um, but, uh, you know, I think it might be worth the upgrade and uh, adding additional RAM if you've got it. One thing to note is I'm about to um, start a render. RAM is probably not going to affect your render speeds at all because that is going to be a GPU or CPU kind of uh, operation. But it does help you navigate through the, um, the DAS Studio program. Well, let's uh, render up this cute image of uh, Milica just for fun and see what she looks like. Okay, so here's our render of Milica, cuter than ever. You know, one of the things I've really noticed is my mouse with this new RAM is just going crazy. I have two screens, so I use my mouse and I go from one screen over to the right to the other one and then back again. I don't know if I'm going to have to slow down the, the mouse speed or what, but it is just cruising across my screen now. So, um... That, uh, that kind of does it for the RAM, I don't know. Um, I'd love to hear your comments and, uh, and see what you think about RAM and uh, if you think it's worth paying some extra money to upgrade your RAM. For my extra 32 gigs, I spent about 65 bucks. I don't regret it. Um, you know, upgrading to 64 gigabytes of RAM probably won't harm my computer any but you know I still have that uh, 3070 GPU and I don't foresee in the immediate future upgrading that at all um, you know the prices of GPUs which really affect your rendering um, you know they're, they're just kind of out of sight to go up into the the 4070 range I, I'd have to drop about two grand at this point so not worth it but um, uh, thought you might like to see the RAM installation, and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Thanks a lot. See you later.